Hello, this is a video demonstrating my new cannon design. That's the cannon. As you can tell, it's quite a bit different than uh, the regular cannon designs. And uh, I'm going to take you up there and give you a look of it. Alright, so over here is the base of the cannon. This is where the boosting and the, all the explosions take place. Basically, um, in the center here is where the boosters go. And they fall down into this water. And then there's a ring of shells you can place on the outside. And they fall on these half blocks here. And all, then all the boosters shoot the shells out in a full 360 uh, degree angle around the cannon. So what that means is you can pretty much hit anything around you if you if you know how to use this cannon. I am still learning so my aim isn't the best but uh, I'm going to try to take a few practice shots to show you how it works. Um, kind of dark out right now. Alright, so this thing over here is where the shells go. Um, there's space for up to 24 shells in one shot. And so 360 divided by 24 is 15. So each of these squares is about, each of these boxes is about uh, 15 degrees difference in angle. And in here is where you can place the boosters. You can change the angle slightly by uh, the way you place the boosters as well, so uh, you have quite a bit of control. This is a second rack if you want. And up there is the third rack for super powerful shots. And uh, over here is a button. Uh, it's just one button to shoot this cannon uh, because it has a timer system in it. And not only is it a timer system, but it's a variable timer system. So you can change um, the delay on the explosion by uh, switching these levers. And this is based on uh, Ether Imp's uh, variable timer system he used for his cannon. And I'll try post a video of that here. So right now, this is the longest delay. There's a base delay of 12 ticks. Plus 2, plus 4, plus 8 is 26. So right now we have a 26 tick delay. And you can combine these three levers in different ways to have a to have a lot of control over the delay easily. But we're just going to shoot this random shot now to show you how it works. Just press the button. They fall down into the water. Those fall. Down. And boom. All right. Pretty cool, I think. I'll load it up all the way this time. And we'll just do one row of boosters. Actually, let's do. Let's just load it up all the way. Show you what it can do. All right. This is a uh, three racks of boosters. That's twenty-four boosters and a full ring of shells. Twenty-four shells. And it's going to be hard to see. Longest delay possible. 
And fire. So yeah, this cannon's pretty powerful. It can hit stuff um, well over 200 blocks away. I haven't actually seen how far it goes yet. And the best thing about this cannon is it's very accurate. So we're going to try to do some accuracy shots now. We're going to try to hit that cow, I guess. So he's about in the corner here. And I'm going to add an extra shot just in case. And he's pretty close, so I'm just going to put five in here. And shorten the delay. We're going to lower the delay by eight ticks. Ah, uh, ten ticks. Let's make it. And fire. Cow's gone. They would have hit him, I think. The sun is back up, so we're going to do some more target testing. Um, I'm going to try to hit that reed over there. So, probably at the 120. Um, very little power is needed. Probably just three. A short shot and very little delay is needed. Probably just two ticks plus the 12, so that's 14. And fire. Pretty close, pretty close. Try it again. This time I'm going to change the way I put the boosters in. And hopefully that will change the angle a bit. Yeah, beautiful. And so with practice, I'm sure you could get really good with this cannon. Um, let's try to do a farther shot. And how about that cactus over there? See if we can hit that. So that's probably 255. We're going to need a bit of power. I'm guessing at least 8. So we'll do a full ring. And we'll put the delay up as long as possible that one. Oh. bad angle so it was at 255 I'll do 270 same shot the power was good and the delay was good, so just need to change the angle. Oh, too far. Oh. Darn it. The reason why I'm using water elevators here is because I don't want the shots bouncing off of any type of ladders or anything like that. So if they hit these water columns, they just pass right through. So. It's going to do seven this time. Left that one out. Oh, it's short. No way. Let's see. I'm just 
that too much power, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to try... That. Like that. Left out the two corners. So I think it'll be weaker. Too weak. Hmm. Might be a blind spot. So yeah, you can use other racks for control too. In different ways. angle is a bit off so I added another one offside to correct it hopefully oh this is so close let's see so close again. That is a far shot. Let's see, I have one there. One there. Put one there. A little bit more powerful. Too powerful. Wow. Hitting everything but it. I just killed the other imp. Alright, we're back. I stopped the video because I killed Etherimp again, but uh, if you pause it, you'll notice I hit the target right as I stopped it. So now i uh, got some helpers over here, and we're going to be shooting at uh, Max over there, or Val, and he's going to be a moving target. And hopefully we'll hit him. So I'm just going to load up three shots here for wider range. I 
And I'll try that. Ah, uh, too weak. Five shots in case he moves. Hard to hit. And try that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a hit. Almost killed him. Definitely would have if this was non peaceful. It's a miss. All right, we're just going to do one more shot to end this video. A full 360. With uh, just one one rack full of boosters so that you can see it. And it does tons of damage. That's good if you can't aim. Alright, well, I'm going to stop the video here. And uh, hopefully I'll post a video on how to build this cannon. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching.